Lightweight design not only enhances the flight performance of stealth fighters, but also provides more load space for the fighters, allowing them to carry more weapon systems and electronic equipment. Lighter warplanes mean higher maneuverability, flexibility and longer combat radius, further enhancing their tactical advantages. Another technical bottleneck that needs to be broken through is the high temperature resistance of stealth fighters. Stealth coatings are usually poorly resistant to high temperatures, especially when flying at high speeds. The surface temperature of the warplane will rise rapidly, which poses a huge challenge to the stability and service life of the coating. Northwestern Polytechnical University's Stealth Skin uses the radar stealth bulletproof integration of new materials developed by North University. Making the skin has a stronger heat resistance and stability at high temperatures. The introduction of this new material not only significantly improves the strength of the stealth skin, but also makes the warplane can continue to operate at higher temperatures, breaking through the bottleneck of the thermal barrier of the traditional stealth warplanes. This technological advancement means that future stealth fighters will be able to maintain their stealth status more stably when flying at hypersonic speeds, while reducing coating peeling or performance degradation due to high temperatures. In addition to the above advantages, NWI's stealthy skin is also self-adaptive. Based on changes in the battlefield environment, the stealth skin is able to adjust its shape and structure to respond to different types of radar waves and other detection methods. This capability allows stealth fighters to flexibly respond to multiple threats in complex battlefield environments and maintain optimal stealth at all times. This multi-spectrum stealth skin and its adaptive system has a very strong comprehensive ability in visual, infrared and even radar wave multiband stealth. If this technology is successfully put into use, China's sixth-generation aircraft may no longer rely on traditional wave-absorbing coatings, but through this highly integrated stealth skin system, to maintain the stealth effect in different frequency bands and greatly enhance the survivability and operational flexibility of the warplane. With the maturity of stealth skin technology, the maintenance and cost of stealth fighters have also been effectively solved. The traditional wave-absorbing coating needs to be frequently repaired and ray-coated during the combat process which not only increases the maintenance cost, but also makes it difficult to maintain the combat readiness of stealth fighters. The new stealth skin has stronger durability, which can reduce the number of maintenance and lower combat costs. In addition, the manufacturing cost of the stealth skin is also relatively low. Compared with the traditional wave-absorbing coating, the use of this skin will save a lot of money in the production and maintenance and improve the overall combat effectiveness. All in all, in WIUs, Multispectral stealth skin and its adaptive system provide strong technical support for the development of China's sixth generation aircraft. The comprehensive improvement of this stealth skin in stealth performance, flight performance, heat resistance, maintenance, and other aspects marks China's leapfrog progress in the field of stealth technology. The emergence of stealth skin will make China's sixth generation aircraft in the future air war to occupy a clear advantage, not only in the stealth effect beyond the existing warplanes but also in the comprehensive performance of the formation of technical barriers, even if the shape of the warplanes of other countries are similar to achieve similar performance. This is also why the United States and Russia and other countries' pilots have civilian tablet PCs on the plane with the situation, because they are driving the aircraft and the technology really can not keep up with the times. More than with a tablet PC is the lowest cost information upgrade program, the problems that the US and Russia are facing now will also be faced by China in the future and may be even more serious. Electronic technology, especially the development of artificial intelligence technology faster than anyone expected, if a type of military aircraft in today's design, then wait for it in 10 years after the service, the probability of facing service that is backward problem. For this reason, the aircraft development process must be shortened. The best way to shorten the process is to adopt a common standard and modular design. Let the new aircraft is no longer a separate product, but a framework. Everything within the framework can be realized plug and play modular design. Upgrading only need to upgrade the module. You can improve the performance of the entire fighter aircraft framework. After all, the current cell phone can do a new product a year, relying on the industry's common standards. If the domestic aviation industry can break through these barriers and establish the same common standards, then not only the aircraft development time will be greatly shortened, the production difficulty and cost will also be greatly reduced.
so that the aircraft really like a cell phone has become a general industrial product that everyone can afford to consume. It's worth noting that the annual production of J-20 fighters will exceed 100 straight to 200 by outside estimates, most likely because we're already doing it. The development process and progress of the next sixth-generation aircraft will also be more than expected. This can be seen from the CCTV interview with the J-20 pilot. According to him, although the appearance of the J-20 has not changed much, but its core functions are being upgraded and improved every day. Admittedly, the word daily here only describes the high frequency, but we should also know that many of the core functions of a fighter jet involve equipment that is difficult to replace. For example, detecting, striking, flying, etc. These functions involve radar, engines and other onboard electronic equipment. Simply relying on software upgrades does not significantly improve the performance of these core functions. And this also means that if the J-20 can really upgrade and improve these core functions at a higher frequency, then the modularization and generalization level of the J-20 is likely to be far higher than the outside world imagines. Considering again that J-35, J-36 and Shenfis 6th generation aircraft were all developed after J-20, it is highly probable that these aircraft will also excel in modularization and generalization design, which will also lay a solid foundation for the research and development and production of these aircraft.